Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your first week of uh, December reading. Start from the 1st through the 7th of December 2020. This is going to be for the sign of uh, Gemini. I will be adding charms, I will be pulling out oracle cards in this reading as well. So stay tuned and while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's dive into the reading. Let's find out what is heading towards the Gemini's for this week time, uh, starting today. <clears throat> let's begin. What's up with Gemini's? Let's begin. For a pentacles. Um... There is something that you're holding very tight be on to like you know it's um it can be a person it can be a situation it can be a relationship it can be your money as well like you know if you have been having some issues or uh, financial issues then i feel like you know your your attitude towards spending money is wrong here um and you are unaware of that you know, it's, it's like, you know, the way you are spending your money is there is something wrong with that. Let's see more cards here first. Empress. Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands. And in the deck, we do have the High Priestess. Okay. It's very important for you to keep whatever it is that you're holding on to. There is something that you're hiding. There is something. It can be a relationship. It can be um, a financial matter. There is something secret. Uh, there is a secret that you're keeping right now. Now, if, if it's a secret, it's, it's, it's good for you to keep it secret that way, exactly the way you are keeping it right now. You don't have to share it out until and unless you get what you want. For very few of you, like I said earlier, like, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you know, there is something wrong the way you are spending your money. That could be the case for some of you. But for majority of you, um, I feel like, you know, there, there is a need for you to keep something secret here. Your love life. Uh, a financial matter, um, a court case, um, something, something needs to be kept secret, something needs to be hidden, something needs to be, needs not to be shared with people until and unless you get that, until and unless you get the paperwork done, until and unless you get the commitment, until and, until and unless you get the, um, you know, you, you travel. Um, it's going to be different for different people, but I feel like, you know, there is something fishy though. I feel like, you know, there is something like, you know, maybe somebody's hiding something from you. Um, until and unless the right time, this person is not going to get, get this revealed to you. It can be your energy. You are hiding something from someone. Uh, maybe you're hiding something from your spouse. Maybe your spouse is hiding something from you. There is something that needs to be, um, out, but when the time is right, right now, the time is not right. Something needs to be, um, disclosed when the time is right and right now the time is not right so i feel like you know there uh, there is something that um that will get revealed to you or you are going to reveal to someone in in the in the weeks to come um for those of you who have been trying to conceive and you have been you know unable to do so i feel like you know you might get con you know you might get pregnant you might conceive a baby but you have to keep the news hidden until and unless you are uh, you have passed a few months um maybe you have a strong chance of getting evil uh you know affected by evil eye around you so in that case you know if it is something good that you're working towards like abundance um financial stability a love relationship if you have been having you know uh, no affairs lately and now you are in one you really have to keep it secret because there are some people around you who don't have good intentions for you or who have evil eye for you now in that situation you really have to protect your energy and for that you really have to keep it secret whatever good is happening in your life you really have to make sure you you don't share it out 
until and unless you have it in your hands. If you are working towards getting a job, don't share it out with everyone out there. You know, whenever you go out, you share it with your friends. I have applied for a job here and there, here and there, here and there. And what happens is nothing happens. If you keep it secret, if you keep it to yourself, you will get the reward, you will get the result, whatever you are waiting for, whatever you are wishing for. You will finally get what you are waiting for if and only if you keep it secret. Now, if it is about a money situation that I, I mentioned earlier, in that situation, you really have to basically... Um, hold on. You might be earning money through wrong ways is what I'm picking up. Like, you know, in that situation, either you are spending the wrong way or you are earning money the wrong way. It can be your energy. It can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Maybe the money you are getting is illegal or, you know, in one way or the other. Maybe the person that you are dealing with, they are earning money illegally and they are not telling you the truth where they are getting the money from. So there might be something fishy around those lines. But other than that, I feel like, you know, it's going to be a beautiful week for the two, uh, you know, for, for you guys. Um, I do see there is some sort of wish fulfillment coming up for you in terms of your love life and your know, emotional fulfillment. Uh, you know, when, when it comes to emotional fulfillment, I do see you happy. I do see you getting fulfilled. Uh, your wish is getting uh, granted. But again, don't let it out until and unless you have it. You know, if, if you are waiting for your person to propose you, don't share it out. Don't tell your people, you know, don't tell your people that, you know, I'm getting proposed to him. Uh, I'm getting proposed by him or her today. Don't share it out until and unless you are being proposed. Just keep it secret. Let me see more cards here for the Four of Pentacles. Let's see what is that all about. <clears throat> I feel like, you know, the people around you are not happy seeing you happy. So that's why you really have to keep it, uh, keep, uh, keep it to yourself. Um, for some of you, <clears throat> you really have to keep it secret. Whatever it is that you are, you know, uh, getting in this week time, abundance, blessings, you really have to keep it to yourself. Don't share it out with anyone. Uh, not just yet. It's it's not the right time. <clears throat> for uh, it would be different for different people. You know why why you shouldn't be sharing it out. But yes, I feel like you know um the message that I said earlier is going to be for very few of you, but for majority of you, really have to keep your good life secret during this uh, week time. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this week time. If two cards wants to come up let's see open your heart allow love to grow and blossom all around you you have waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time and now this time has come make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you are guided to take joy will lead you to a vibrant healthy life i feel like you know you might be getting married to someone this uh this uh you know, um, uh, in, in this month, maybe it's not happening this week time. But like I said, you know, there are certain things happening in your love life, which is going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. But keep it secret until and unless it has happened. Until and unless you get engaged, don't share it out. Until and unless you get married, don't share it out. You know, whatever you are getting in your emotionally, you know, fulfillment, uh, you know, situation, just keep it secret. And, um, and even if you want to share it out, just, just make sure that you protect the connection, you protect the energy that you have uh, with a specific someone before you share it out to the people because there could be, you know, some people around you who are not going to be happy to see you happy. Helper of Abundance, uh, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind and a loyal friend Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person can be you as well. So it can be you, or it can be you, your person's energy, or it can be the energy of your you yourself. But I feel like you know this person is somebody who uh, who you always wanted to be with. Um, I feel like you know there is some sort of a new beginning. 
um, not new beginning it's, it's more like a beginning that you are having it can be new for some of you it can be like you know something that you were planning for so long as well and it's just that like you know now it's happening just keep it secret don't um i cannot emphasize on the need to keep it secret trust me it's it's not going to be good if you share it out with uh, a lot of people right now let's see what the oracle has to add to the video the heart of the matter there is more going on than meets the eye number 22 let me see you have no idea what the true intentions of the people around you are so just just know that um you know um for some of you maybe you feel like you know you can share it with your close friend maybe you you know them so well and stuff you you should not seeing the it's seeing this card along with the other cards it's like again the same message keep it to yourself because um you have no idea what's in the people's heart for for the two of you for you so just just be careful with that innocence maybe you're too innocent to understand the other people's intentions around you take time to play and nurture your inner child um live well uh, live with a childlike sense of wonder so just have fun enjoy your life don't you don't have to disclose everything out there you know you don't have to put everything on the social media try avoid using social media as well during this time you know there could be people who are not having good intentions for the two of you again so let's see what the charms has to add to the reading wow a lot of people see oopsie oopsie a u there are so many people involved in this situation m j there are so many people keeping an eye on you and the person that you are dealing with. Maybe for some of you, maybe you or the person that you are dealing with, they might be somebody who is very, you know, active, uh, you know, uh, in their life. Like maybe they are, so, you know, some some sort of um, uh, celebrity or something. Like, you know, they, they are somebody very known in their society, uh, in their work front, maybe. You know, there, there, there could be like, you know, those kind of things happening. So maybe, maybe it's like, you know, that's the reason why it is very important to keep the celebration whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now keep it very personal and private don't trade it out much uh you know and just enjoy enjoy and try to listen to positive music during this time as well it's going to help you um stay positive as well so yeah uh that's pretty much it can go for you for this uh week time if the reading resonated with you to like subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal reading you can always reach out to me for that on my email id in the description box till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye bye